Okay, hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the plugin effects that come with the Steinberg UR22C. So, what are they? Well, basically, they're 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 VST plugins that emulate the DSP uh, functionality of the UR22C. So, what's the difference? Um, well, basically, the DSP functionality is what is the reason why I bought the Steinberg is the effects are basically in the box itself in the hardware itself and they provide really really low latency so that when you're talking to a microphone you can apply those effects like reverb and and such and then you hit you you hear it back in your headphones immediately almost almost zero latency and 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 what what that is is it's not the, the you see your voice isn't going into the computer and then the computer isn't kind of processing effects on, on on top of that and then it's not sending it back down to your headphones it's all happening in the box itself um so vst plugins work a bit different than that basically you apply a vst plugin it's it's a little bit of software isn't it? i'm sure you'll know what a vst plugin is um, but but the, the but the box does come with some software that, let, that emulates those um, the, the, the DSP software, and you can just apply them to any track you want. So I'll just show you how it works here. Um, oh, what have we got? There we've got. So I've got a little basic house track there. What I've done here is I've created a send track here um, with uh, all of the. Uh, Steinberg plugins in it so I can just go through one by one and as you can see these are the uh, these are the um, guitar effects here as I go down yeah different types of guitar effects got channel strip um, so that channel strips got your compression your equalizer and then you've got three different types of of reverb hall reverb plate and room okay so let's all look how that works um, so I'm just going to click my play button and let's apply the one guitar effect. Let's apply a different guitar effect. Now, obviously, I don't think guitar effects work at all well on um, on on synths like this. But it's just to demonstrate how it works, basically. And as you can see, it works. It works very well. I've got two um, DAWs. This one, which is Reaper, and also um, Ableton Live. Oddly, this only works in Reaper. It doesn't seem to work in Ableton Live. Now, I don't think that's that's because of the Steinberg software. I, I've had problems with um, Ableton Live with other VSTs where they just won't work in Ableton Live. And I think that's sometimes. That not necessarily with this, it's sometimes got something to do with whether a VST is a 32 bit or just different types of VST. So Reaper handles different types of VSTs very well, whereas I don't think um, Ableton Live is so accommodating. I think Reaper's got something in it called a, a bridge or some kind of which is like a conversion type thing, so it does it does manage um, VSTs a lot better. So there you go, that's how it works, and it, and it works very well. and. Um, yeah, so it's it's quite a nice thing, and um, oh, because some people did ask if it only works in Steinberg, so the obvious answer to that is, no, it does work in other um, in other DAWs, but I guess you'd have to just find out whether it works in your DAW.